All right. So I just received the uh, package from a company called Fiji Cube. Uh, I was looking around trying to uh, decide what I was going to do with this uh, 40 breeder. Uh, I wasn't really too sure about filtration. I was thinking about uh, hanging a, a AquaClear 50. <clears throat> and then I was going to uh, get, the, they make these um, surface skimmers where I would just attach the, uh, I guess a siphon. And it would pretty much act like a uh, skimmer. <clears throat> but the problem with that is... Um, I didn't want to have too many holes in the back of the uh, tank <clears throat> where the fish was uh, would have the potential of jumping out. So I was looking around. I did a search for a uh, 30-gallon breeder all-in-one. And then uh, what uh, ended up coming up was this website called Fiji Cube. So I clicked, and uh, uh, here is the website. All right. So uh, I did a, uh, I was doing a search and Fiji Cube came up. Uh, checked out the website and definitely a nice uh, looking all-in-one. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, once again, uh, here is the uh, uh, twenty-gallon long all-in-one um, uh, kit. Okay. So as you can see, there is the um, the kit. Pretty much has a, a nice weir. Uh, a couple baffles, and it even includes its own uh, return pump. Okay, so I looked around, and <clears throat> I I did see another competitor, but they're charging about I think 150, maybe close to 200 dollars just for their uh, product. So I decided to just go with the uh, Fiji Cube here. All right, uh, the dimensions on this is let's go and scroll down. So it's for the 20 gallon long. Uh, it's measuring about four and a half by three uh, and uh, three quarters. <clears throat> At first, I was going to get the uh, forty gallon breeder, but I didn't want the uh, the height of it. The twenty gallon breeder and the thirty gallon breeder, the height is pretty much the same, roughly about thirteen inches in height. <clears throat> so that's the reason why I opted for the uh, twenty gallon version. Okay, so here is the uh, package. Here's their uh, packaging. I'm gonna take this out. All right, so here it is, uh, straight out of the box. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me do a quick measure of the um, height of the box. All right, so here's a tape measure. So it looks like uh, this box is measuring about a good 11 inches in height. Okay. Length is about 10 and a half. And then the depth is about a good four inches. <clears throat> All right, so, and this one, uh, as you can see, here is uh, the uh, return pump. <clears throat> uh, I believe it's rated for 250 uh, gallons per hour. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll have to uh, check the website. And then uh, here's the uh, return. Okay. And uh, let me actually go ahead and peel off the back here so we could get a, a good look. Okay. All right, so I have this uh, lying down. <clears throat> Let's see if we get a good view here. All right. So the water would pretty much uh, filter through the weir here. Go down through the... This section right here. They got... Uh, Uh, no baffle so the water just goes straight down it empties into this chamber right here and then once i hook up the pump then it'll uh, go and <clears throat> bring the water back into the tank okay so my plan what i'm uh, planning to do is <clears throat> if you look at the website they have it pretty much designed as a peninsula style where this would go here 
at the end of the tank. All right. And it, it did come with um, magnets. So all that you would do is place one magnet here on the inside and then one on the outside and then it would pretty much just clamp on. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but what I'm planning to do is to go and silicone it <clears throat> down. All right. So pretty much what my plan is to do, I don't want it peninsula style. I'm going to put it here in the very back. <clears throat> All right, so this is pretty much how it's going to look. All right, so pretty much similar to like the uh, Innovative Marine, uh, pretty much like the all-in-one tanks, right? Except this is definitely going to be a smaller chamber, <clears throat> but it will definitely be enough space for me to go and put uh, the return pump, my heater, uh, possibly an auto top off. We'll see uh, how much the evaporation is, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> uh, I also have a, I just uh, recently purchased a brand new uh, Apex that'll put the temp probe inside here as well. <clears throat> okay, and then here maybe uh, some pure gin, chemi pure, some filter floss that I'll be able to easily take out. Okay, so once again, uh, this right here is my uh, plan uh, to pretty much silicone it uh, later on today. I give it about a day or two for the silicone to cure before um, I could start filling this uh, tank up with water. I've already had this tank for about a good week, maybe two weeks. I'm uh, definitely excited to uh, get it wet. Uh, I have the uh, Dr. Tim's uh, uh, all-in-one to uh, pretty much bring in the beneficial bacteria. But yeah, here it is. Uh, the <clears throat> Fiji Cube all-in-one box for the 20-gallon uh, aquarium. Uh, but luckily, uh, this is pretty much the same height as the 20-breeder. Uh, or 20 long so uh, let's see how this works out for my uh, 30 breeder uh, I did purchase uh, two extra mp10 so I could have uh, extra flow on them um, but yeah we'll see how that works out right so once again uh, this is pretty much uh, my unboxing of the uh, Fiji cube 20 gallon all-in-one uh, box all right I'll go ahead and uh, keep you guys posted once I actually uh, fill the tank up uh, with water uh, silicone that down and of that uh, thanks and check out the uh, next uh, updated video all right all right great thank you very much